Hey guys, sorry about the bad quality. Uh, listen, this is for real flight users only, so pay attention. I'm gonna show you guys how to download new planes onto real flight. So, first, go to knifeedge.com, then look for swap pages. It should be on the very bottom left. Then afterwards, click any of the real flight variants, it doesn't matter. And then click aircraft models. This is for a new plane altogether. If you click AV or aircraft variant, you're not going to be able to get a new plane. This is for planes you already have. Same thing with color schemes, just uh, same plane, new color. Okay. Then go ahead and browse for any plane you want. And remember, try not to search for a plane because you'll end up in every different kind of plane. Remember, you click, you can't click on AV because that's aircraft variant, which means edited plane you already have, and you can't click color scheme. You c CS is color scheme, AV is aircraft variant. Look for EA. That's a new aircraft model. That's what you want to get. Okay, I'm gonna look for a plane I don't. I already don't have. Okay, let's say I want an F-16. Remember to look at the video description. I'm sorry, not the video description, the plane description before you get it. I got an SR-71 Blackbird and it turned out to be crap. So after you click download, you'll have two options. You can either open or save your file. You want to go to save as and give your plane a name that you will remember for for like ever. So I'm just going to call it an F-16 Fighting Falcon. Okay, then after you click save, don't open the file, just close that, close that little thing out. Then after you get on real flight, go to import, click real flight archive. Remember, you can't do this when you're in a multiplayer session. So look for the plane you downloaded, click open, then it should say your plane has been successfully imported. Now you go to all aircraft then you just look for the plane you downloaded remember sometimes it won't save as the name that you put it as and remember don't ask me what uh, creating DDS means, I don't know what DDS means so yeah anyways that's how you download download your plane basically not much more I can say oh after you download it fly with it a little bit for like I don't know five or ten minutes or so if there seems to be any problem with it, try, you might want to re-download it. Don't try uninstalling this plane because it's not possible. Anyways, yeah, that's basically it. If you're having any problems doing this, just let me know.